live look over Fort Lauderdale. We've seen a bit of wet weather rolling through today. Looks nice out there. Actually, isn't that that's uh, downtown? That's downtown Miami, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. You see the AAA there? Oh, the yeah, way. it is. Just I had to do a double take there, but it is a beautiful shot nonetheless. Let's go ahead and check in with uh, Angie again and see how it's looking out there. Hey, Angie. Hey there, ladies. It's been a little gloomy today. I think people have noticed that we've had the showers and thunderstorms trying to roll through most of it to the west, but a couple of areas have been dealing with some wet weather. So let's zoom in and show you exactly who is seeing some of that thunderstorm activity right now. Tamarack down towards sunrise and up towards Coral Springs. Some of those lighter showers, even some lightning nearby. Uh, that continues to move north, but there's more where that came from. Notice 595 is going to be wet in that area. A few showers near southwest ranches and Davie and along US 27 in this area. You can see some moderate rain falling at this time. Drier conditions for Miami-Dade, but just to the west, we have these thunderstorms that again are trying to push in. So scattered showers and thunderstorms lasting through the rest of your afternoon and into your early evening hours. We will keep that rain chance going as we head into your Wednesday. And you can see it play out on your future tracker right now going through the day, especially the second half of the day. We start to see some more of these thunderstorms developing. There's a pause at five o'clock. This is why you'll want to take that umbrella with you for tomorrow. Look at these temperature differences. This is incredible. Honestly, 36 degrees in Denver right now. They were talking snow in portions uh, of Wyoming. They were in the mid 80s yesterday, and now we're into the 30s and the 40s. So a big temperature swing, but for us, not so much. 88 degrees in Miami. 86 in Fort Lauderdale down through the keys ranging from 80 in Marathon to 88 in Key West. Tropics, it's busy. Yes, of course, we know it's that time of year. Tropical storm Paulette still remaining a tropical storm with winds at 65 miles per hour and moving slowly, eventually going to take a northwesterly turn, so we won't have to watch for that for any land masses to be affected, but we are still going to monitor it. That goes for tropical storm Renee as well. 40 mile per hour winds in a westward movement at 16 miles per hour. This one will likely become our, uh, our next hurricane category one, but you can see that doesn't last long by Friday. It's back down to a tropical storm and it does take a northerly turn, so that is good news there. A couple other spots that we're watching just off the coast, uh, the eastern coast, 40% chance of that developing tropical depression there, another tropical depression for that area as it emerges off the coast of Africa. So lots to talk about when we're talking tropics. Locally, scattered showers take us through Thursday, brighter skies by Friday, but guess what? Rain chances back to widely scattered and scattered for our weekend with temperatures into the upper 80s to low 90s.